your future. <laughs> this is the last day you'll have to worry about me, Iruka Sensei. Huh? Check this out. From now on, I'm going to work my butt off to become Okage. Uh, and I'm going to surpass all the Okage before me. <laughs> Naruto. What are you talking about? Becoming Hokage is not as easy as you think. <laughs> Just watch me, Iruka Sensei! Where does all that confidence come from? I'm gonna work my butt off! You'll see! Good grief. The village hidden in the leaves in the land of fire. Therein lived a young boy named Naruto Uzumaki. As an infant, he had lost both parents, and the nine-tailed fox spirit had been sealed inside of him. His dream, as he grew up in the village, was to one day become the Hokage. Time passed, and Naruto graduated from the Ninja Academy. Together with his rival, Sasuke Uchiha, and his childhood crush, Sakura Haruno. Naruto became a member of Team 7, a squad led by Kakashi Hatake. His life as a ninja had at last begun, or so he had thought. In order to test their strength as ninja, Kakashi summoned Naruto and the others to the training field. The purpose of this exercise is to test your strengths. The point isn't whether you win or lose. <laughs> Try not to get in my way, you screw up. Hey, that's my line! Don't you get in my way, Sasuke! Having proven their strength and teamwork, Naruto and the others became official members of Team 7. Facing mission after mission, the trio began to show the signs of experience. At last, they were given their highest ranking mission to date, a C-rank mission. Naruto was overjoyed. However, upon reaching their destination, the Land of Waves, they were instead attacked by Zabuza of the Seven Ninja Swordsmen and Haku, user of the Ice Style. It was the first time he'd come face to face with a life and death battle. Naruto and Sasuke fought hard against the more skilled Haku. Don't get careless, screw up. His speed is incredible. I shall achieve my goals. You two must die. No way! There's no way I'm gonna lose! Not a chance! 
Naruto and Sasuke fought valiantly. The tide turned, and the two began to gain the upper hand against Haku. Meanwhile, a fierce battle between Kakashi Hatake and Zabuza Momochi was unfolding. The two had each experienced countless battlefields. The tension was so thick, it could be cut with a sword. Their two wills, their two techniques, clashed. A moment's weakness would spell death. I think it's about time we settle this, Kakashi. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to Kaku! start getting Sakusa. The tide of battle had begun to turn Kakashi's way. When the treachery of Zabuza's employer, Gato, abruptly ended the fight. Zabuza gave his life to take Gato down, and then collapsed in the snow. In completing their mission, Naruto and his friends had shown great improvement. Recognizing this, Kakashi recommended all three for the Chunin exam. A written exam, capturing the scroll, and many other tests awaited Naruto. But thanks to his indomitable will, Naruto soon made the finals. Only those singled out could participate in the final battle. Naruto was pitted against Neji Yuga, said to be the strongest of the Genin. We are all given a destiny at birth, and it is pointless to fight against it. It is your destiny to lose to me. I don't think so! Against all expectations, Naruto was able to outmaneuver Neji, and emerged victorious. The finals of the Chunin exam had been truly eventful, but then chaos descended. The assault by Orochimaru, chief of the Hidden Sound, and the betrayal of their ally, the Hidden Sand Village. In the blink of an eye, these two crises transformed the village of the Hidden Leaf into a field of carnage. Screams rose alongside plumes of smoke as the Hidden Leaf Ninja bravely fought. Atop Lookout Tower, there stood one who would risk his life to fight for the Hidden Leaf. The strings of history are mine to pull. Orochimaru. <laughs> Sarutobi Sensei, it seems we fight yet again. You may have once been my apprentice, but I will not allow this outrage. Our bitter struggle ended with Orochimaru seriously wounded and forced to flee the hidden leaf. But the village, too, had paid a terrible price. At last, the conflict subsided. But away from the village, in a remote corner of the forest, another battle was unfolding. This fight was between Naruto Uzumaki and Gara, the hidden sand ninja. Gara seeking to find the meaning of his existence. Naruto seeking to protect those most dear to him. Their hearts full of conviction, the two prepared to clash. I live for myself and myself alone. A weakling like you can never hope to stop me. There are people who rely on me. I can't. I won't lose to you. The battle was fierce, but Naruto persevered. Fighting to protect those most important to him, he triumphed. 
The destruction of the leaf had been averted, and peace returned once more to the village. But the battle had inflicted devastating damage on the leaf. They needed to urgently elect a new Hokage. Meanwhile, a mysterious organization had begun working behind the scenes. They were known as the Akatsuki, targeting the Nine Tails sealed inside of Naruto. They raided the village. Quickly sensing that something was amiss, Kakashi and the others moved to intercept the attack. But the two ninja they found waiting for them far exceeded their expectations. One was an S-ranked criminal, Kisame Hoshigaki, of the Seven Ninja Swordsmen of the Hidden Mist. The other had once been a ninja of the Hidden Leaf, he had exterminated the entire Uchiha clan. He was Sasuke Uchiha's older brother, Itachi Uchiha. Two villains who trod the depths of the abyss. Kakashi and the others stood united against their combined menace. If you insist on getting in my way, I will have to destroy you. <laughs> Enough with the threats, Itachi. Let's fight them. Come and get it. I got your back. A moment's carelessness could mean your life. Asuma, Kurnai, be careful. Kakashi and the others were able to repel the Akatsuki's attacks. But news of Itachi's presence had reached the ears of his little brother, Sasuke. At this same time, in order to find the woman named Tsunade, next in line as Hokage, Naruto was leaving the village, together with his new mentor, Jiraiya. Their journey continued. Until one day, as they were resting along the way, the Akatsuki appeared once more. Their target was Naruto. The overwhelming powers of Itachi and Kisame descended upon Naruto. The outlook was grim, but just as disaster loomed, in rushed a single ninja. A ninja who had come for Itachi. A brother who harbored an abiding grudge in his breast. That ninja was Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke, I have no interest in you as you are now. Itachi, I've nursed my grudge against you just like you asked me to. My only reason for living has been to kill you! Driven beyond rage, it seemed that Sasuke would get the better of Itachi. But Itachi saw through each of his attacks. In the end, Sasuke was engulfed by Itachi's visual jutsu. The situation was dire. Luckily, Jiraiya intervened. Fully aware of Jiraiya's strength, Itachi was forced to flee. When the dust had finally settled, Sasuke remained in a comatose state. In order to save Sasuke, the two others hurried in pursuit of Tsunade. At last, they succeeded in finding her in Tanzaku Town. But there were others besides Naruto who had come in search of Tsunade. Orochimaru, who was seriously injured during the destruction of the leaf, and his underling, Kabuto Yakushi. Determined to protect Tsunade, Naruto Uzumaki stood in Kabuto's way and fixed him with a menacing glare. Naruto Uzumaki. Children should run along home before it gets dark. I won't run away! Just you wait! I'm gonna crush you! With his defeat of the stronger ninja, Kabuto, Naruto Uzumaki had clearly shown progress far beyond what anyone expected. 
but this only made Sasuke drive himself harder. While once there had been a world of difference between the two, Naruto had matured quickly. He had begun to catch up to Sasuke. Sasuke, meanwhile, grew impatient for his own growth. He wondered if he'd ever gain the strength to defeat Itachi. Revenge against his brother. The bond with his friends. These were the choices he placed upon the scales. In the end, Sasuke Uchiha chose revenge. In order to gain power, he set off to join Orochimaru. Even if the road led into darkness, it was the path which Sasuke had chosen. However, there was one who would attempt to stop him. It was Sasuke's closest friend, Naruto Uzumaki. Desperately, Naruto followed. But along the way, he was met by a ninja dispatched from the hidden sound. The ninja, Kimimaro, had been sent by Orochimaru to stop Naruto. Impatience, anger, a storm of feelings raged in Naruto's breast. I will allow you to reach Sasuke and Chihaki. He is to be the vessel of Lord Orochimaru. Get out of my way! Naruto left Kimimaro behind and continued on. Until at last, the sound of echoing thunder meant that he arrived at the ravine known as the Final Valley. There, with his back to him, stood his rival and closest friend, Sasuke. Obsessed with his thirst for power, the Sasuke he had once known seemed lost forever. Naruto called upon their bond. But Sasuke had severed the bond from his heart, and Naruto's words fell on deaf ears. It was already too late. It was... But even if it took brute force, Naruto Uzumaki would bring him home. He clenched his fists. Naruto challenged Sasuke. I'm going to Orochimaru. He wants you for a whole body. You think I'm just gonna let you go? Doesn't matter. As long as I achieve my goal, that's enough. Can't do this. I'll take you back by force if I have to. They clashed with a violence that shook the valley itself. The battle between Naruto and Sasuke showed no signs of abating, growing fiercer and fiercer with every moment. One fought to keep his friend, the other to sever the bond between them. Naruto called upon the Nine Tails, Sasuke upon his curse mark. Both released their forbidden powers. A truly blood-curdling fight. The time of reckoning was at hand. You can't go to Orochimaru! I won't let you! It seems you two were harboring a secret power, Naruto. Still, mine is greater than yours! Back with me! The sky was shrouded in darkness, the air thick with sorrow and rage. They inflicted terrible injuries on each other. Though their strength left their bodies, their emotions fought on. The long-awaited battle between the two had at last begun. It's time to end this. This battle. <clears throat> and all the battles we've had until now. Chidori! No!
Sasuke. What's happening? Pervy Sage? Hey there. As usual, your wounds seem to be healing quickly. Seems that Sasuke was a hopeless case. Training? That's right. You are now officially my apprentice. Within three years, I'll make you a full-fledged ninja. Huh? Then I can go after Sasuke again! But listen. Huh? Forget about Sasuke. He's gone. Sasuke went to Orochimaru of his own free will. No matter what you do, you will not change. But Sasuke is... Trust me, you should just forget about bringing him back. It's the tragic path of self-righteous fools. He may mean nothing to you, Pervy Sage, but Sasuke is my friend! Can you honestly call him a friend? Just look at what he's done to you. It's... He was destined to leave sooner or later. Don't blame yourself. Dismiss him from your mind and move on. To be a ninja, you need more than strength and jutsu. You must acquire the judgment to make the right decisions. If you want to live as a ninja, you must become smarter. This world is no place for a fool. That's the reality. I understand. Being smarter means what you say it does. I'll remain a fool my entire life. I'll create some incredible jutsu. And I'll rescue Sasuke no matter what! If you try this on your own, the only jutsu you'll come up with is some terribly smutty thing. But, this is so colossally foolish that it might even work. We have a lot of work to do when you get out, so be ready, you incredible fool you. All right, then. Okay! So today's the day, huh? Yep. It sounds like you'll be away for some time. Naruto, let's go. Mm -hmm. Right on! See ya! I'm off, Faruka Sensei! I'll pay you for the noodles when I'm rich and famous! Oh, Naruto, go get him. You'll see.